You've recorded and edited your video, and now you want chapters. Finding those chapters isn't something that I necessarily consider fun, but it's necessary. Descript has a feature that can help you with that. Let's take a look. I'm in the Descript web app. I have my project open. Just come over here to Underlord, and if this is not visible, you can just click Underlord. And if you're seeing something different over here, maybe you've got a different panel open, you can just click Underlord at the top right. If you have absolutely nothing showing over here, you don't have that panel, you can just click Underlord and it'll show up. Right here in this top panel, it's under Sound Good. You can click Add Chapters. If you have a number in mind, like how many chapters you want it to split it into, you can put that number here where it says Auto. If you leave that blank, it'll automatically split it up into the number of chapters that it thinks is appropriate. We'll click Submit, and just like that, we have chapters. It gives you the heading for each one, and then it starts out with the first little snippet of what's under each chapter. So it took my 11-minute video here about importing, shortening word gaps, and cutting out the bad parts when you're using Descript to edit a video, and it split it into these chapters. Getting started, creating a new project, importing and processing the video, understanding the interface, basic editing techniques, advanced editing tips, finalizing your edits, and concluding conclusion and final thought. Now what can I do with those chapters? Well, I can click this little button right here at the bottom and copy. Maybe I want to use these for YouTube chapters. If I'm going to do that, I would probably want to go ahead and have timestamps. So I can click Add Timestamps down here at the bottom. Now it's gotten rid of the little snippets that I don't need anyway. It's given me the timestamp and the chapters. I can copy that and take it right over to paste in my YouTube video description. But maybe I want my chapters in my video project. So we come back here to the Add Chapters. We're going to leave the number at auto, click submit. It's identified the chapters, it's showing us the snippets, and I'll come down here this time and click add to script. And now what it's done is it has put markers throughout my script. You can see them in the scene rail, this first one up top, getting started with Descript. The next one comes in once we've started into scene two, creating a new project. This is the marker right here, creating a new project. These are handy not only for when you're scrolling through, you can see where something new starts, but also for navigation, I can come over here my scene rail, just click on one of them. It's going to move my script to the right place, and it's also going to move my timeline to the right place. So having the scripts AI Underlord automatically add these chapters for you makes it a little easier to edit. Even if you're not finished editing yet, you can go ahead and automatically apply those chapters. It'll break up your project a little bit, make it a little bit more manageable, but also then when it's time to get your chapters to go over to YouTube, it can create them, add the timestamps, you copy and paste. Of course, you can edit or make changes however you want to it, but it gives you a nice starting point. If you're not using Descript yet, there's a link in the description. It is an affiliate link, which means if you end up purchasing Descript, I may receive a small commission, and I sincerely appreciate that. Thank you so much. I also thank you for hanging out with me in this video, and hope you'll come back and join me for another one.